טוב, so now we we spoke about the tzimtzum, right? How Hakadosh Baruch Hu basically through his will chose not to be there, right? He basically cho chose not to choose. <laughs> okay. So that's the definition of tzimtzum in uh, in the creation. So now we're going to start. Uh, to dive into a little bit more of the structure within that simsu, right? So within that emptiness, if you will, HaKadosh Baruch Hu created a structure for his presence to exist in a certain way in order for humanity to be able to relate to that and through the understanding of that structure and that system, be able to connect to him. Okay, good. So, and Hagat HaOlam Naaset Be'emtsaut Eser Midot. HaKadosh Baruch Hu interacts with the creation through 10 traits, 10 Midot. Da'che Ha'anaga Mechunot Eser Sfirot. And that's and the terminology of those, the, the 10 different types of behavior or interactions of Hashem with the creation and humanity are called sefirot. So when we talk about the sefirot, we actually, what we're talking about is the 10 different ways Hashem interacts with the creation on a structural level. So just to give you a little, a little, um, maybe a little, a little bit more information on that, there are two ways Hashem interacts with creation. One is on a global way, on a universal way, okay? And the other one is on a personal way, right? Hashem interacts as a, as a personal interaction with each individual, but he also has an interaction with the creation itself, the entire creation. Those two structures are different. They're made of the same traits, of the same ten essences but are done in the, uh, the, the the structure of is different so the universal behavior or interaction of Hashem have 10 sefirot that are called igulim circles so it's like if you, so you understand what i mean it's like you have like a uh, an onion right an onion has layers, and within that layer, another layer, and another layer, and another layer. So you have 10 layers. So the outer layer, outside of those 10 layers, you have Hashem. Kidyachon. Hashem is all where he chose not to, not to uh, have any tzimtzum. Right? You have the light of Hashem, the end soul. Okay? And then you have, ten, and then the outer, la outer layer is called Keter. And then inside, it's called Chokhmah, and then inside, Bina, and then inside, Da'at, depending on which one you, you, you count. And then inside, you have Chesed, and then after Chesed, in, in, inside you have Gevura, inside Tiferet, right? Inside Netzach, inside Hod, Netzach, uh, Hod, Yesod, and then at the end you have Malchut. Mm -hmm. Malchut is the physical world we know. Okay, or if you will, it's the spiritual interaction of Hashem with the physicality, the closest to physicality, spirituality and physicality, the closest to Okay, coexist, that is called Malchut. That Malchut in itself is not a sefirah that has an, itself, an essence of its own. It's a vessel that receives everything from above. And we'll see that. So it's, a, it's, a, it's like a vector that allows the channeling of all the light, the light of the end of to slowly, slowly dilute, 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 right? As you go inside, you dilute to the focal point. And, inside, and that's, that's where you have the coexistence between Ruhaniut and Gashmiut. Wow, that's deep. You understood? Yeah, so, so, so just to understand, the, the outer layer is the real presence of Hashem in, in the right. most revealing way, but we can't, we can't see that. 
that for sure you can't see. Or even and, and as he gets smaller and smaller and smaller, he gets more layers and more layers and more layers. That's and right. The last layer is what we can see in this world. We see That's right. through a through a smaller layer of his real essence. That's correct. Okay, more or less, I got it. It's like you take an onion. You take an you take a you take a, a like a, a utensil. You put water in it, just so you understand, and you put an onion in it. Mm -hmm. It's mashal, yeah? The water is kivyachol Hashem, the ends of. Yeah. The first layer touching the water is the keter. But then inside, then under that layer, there's another internal layer, right? In that onion. Mm -hmm. And that's called chokhmah. And then internally, there's another layer. layer. It's called bina. Inside. Yeah, yeah, All the way yeah. until you get to the nucleus of the onion, which is called mapu. And that's where the physical world exists. Okay? So, yeah. So, this is the universal way of Hashem to interact with creation. And then you have uh, an individual interaction between Hashem and every human, every individual. And that is called Yosha, which is the, the linear, not the circular, but the linear interaction and structure of the of the sefirot, as uh, everybody knows it, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you, uh, you you've seen before, yeah. What the uh, map? The map with yeah. the ten things? Yes, yes. Right. Yes. So basically, uh, it's as if you're chopping the onion sideways, right? This is it. Right. So this is the inter in, the the individual interaction between Hashem and men. So basically it's as if he's cutting the onion in half and he's sprinkling water to all the parts of the onion. Correct. Correct. It would be because it's not the outer part. You're just chopping it in the middle, opening the onion in half and then sprinkle it in there. And then you get a little bit of everything. Yeah, but it doesn't sprinkle all over the place. It goes through a system. So it has to go from the outer, outer layer inside the inner layer. Uh -huh, I got you. Okay, so there is, there is this universal inflow, global inflow, and then you have the individual inflow, right? So, so it's what, as if... What are the names? The global inflow, what's the name and the... the okay. What is the onion name? The onion is called Igulim. Igul Milashon Circle. Okay. Okay. And there's 10, there's 10 layers. Yeah, 10 layers. We're, and 10 we're gonna go, I'm sorry? 10 circles. Yeah, it's one within the other. Right, and the other one is called what? Yoshen. Yoshen, Yashon, straight, linear. Yoshen. Yosher, Yashon, Yashar, straight. Oh, yes. Yosher, okay. 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 So, and what are the 10 Sephirot? So the closest to Hashem is called Keter, the crown. Mm -hmm. Under it, after it, you have Chokhmah, Knowledge, Bina, Analytical Process. Okay. Then you have Da'at, which is in its, Da'at is a Sira, depending whether you count Keter or not, but it, Da'at is wisdom, okay? It's the union, the balance between the Chokhmah and the Bina. Yeah. So Chokhmah is the information and Bina is what do you do with the information and Da'at is how do you apply what you understand from that analysis. Okay. Then after that, so and this is called in the structure of the linear interaction of the Sifirot of Hashem, it's called Mohim, it's called the head, right? Okay. It's like the brain. Chokhmah, Bina, two, two pieces of the brain. And the skull is called Keter. Love that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the skull, if you will, is the, is, if you will, it's the, the, the connection between what's inner, the body, and what's outside of the body, right? That's the Keter. That's the Keter. Got it. If you, if you think about it, the skull of a person, it is, it's the crown of the body. It's what sits right. on top. Inside, right. you have the brain that's divided into two portions, right? You have the right side and the left side of the brain. So the right side of the brain is called Chokmah. The left side of the brain is called Bina. 
right? And then the merger of the two, okay? The assessment of the reorganization of the knowledge is called the dot. Okay. Okay. And the dot in the Torah is, 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 is known as what? As the breath, the neshama. The neshama is the dot. A person breathes. Hashem brought Adam Arishon to life through the breath. He blew in his nose, right? An inflow of breath. It's amazing. I was listening to a class, not to interrupt you, but that Hashem teaches us certain things himself, other things we learn in life. But breathing, for example, is directly from him. When a baby is born, we never taught the baby how to breathe. Mm -hmm. And also Hashem taught us how to cry. Mm -hmm. Because if, if the baby's not crying, we wouldn't know that he's hungry or tired or has a pain or whatever. So I love how he says that Hashem taught those two things to the baby himself. The rest talking and walking and everything like that, he can learn from humans. But if he doesn't have those two qualities, the baby cannot survive. That's right. Oh, Hashem, I love that. Sorry. So we, so we have, so that's, the, what, that's what we call the mohin. The mohin, which in Hebrew, mohin means the brains. It's the head. That's the head of the sefirot. Okay. Good? Yeah. And after that, after the head, you have the body, right? You have yeah. the upper body, the chest, the arms. So on the right, the ar right arm is called chesed. Chesed, Geburandim. I'm looking at it. The, it's called Gevura. The left arm, the, the, the body itself is called Tif Eret. The throat? What is it? The, the garon? No, it's the, the chest. Okay. All this part, of this part, right? All the way to the legs. Uh, before the breed is called then you have the thigh the right I thought that's thigh. Deen there's no Deen no Where, oh, what Deen no this, this is the wrong one I guess no okay Deen is Gevura is the left arm okay okay, okay. then you have the Tif Eret okay Tif Eret is uh, glory if you will well, the, glo the glory of, of, of the basic human is what? Is for him to stand. Right? What differentiates the animals from humans is that we stand straight. Our body is not, is not leaning the floor. It is not going towards the floor. It's standing straight. That's the glory of a, of a human. That is pride. Mm hmm then after that, you have the th right thigh and leg, which is called the Netzach. Okay? Netzach comes from the word Nitzachon, to win, but also comes from the word eternity. And what it means is that usually a person, when he goes forward, when he's engaging into, so uh, into something and he goes so physically goes somewhere, okay, instinctively, his right leg will always go first when he's proactive and engaging. And then you have the Hod, which is another, another version of, uh, of uh, it's not glory, um, it's not, but it's... it's um, this is splendor. Uh, splendor, splendor, splendor. Okay? okay, it's the left and the left leg. And then you have the Yesod. Yesod is the Brit Mila, right? Mm. What about a so, woman? She doesn't have yesod. She has yesod, but in a different in a different way, right? And then you have the malchut. So malchut, malchut is man, the keter of the of the brit, right? Mm -hmm. Of the brit milah, but it's all it also represents the space. Malchut is the space, the the the, the, the makom of the person. Okay. The space of the person in this world? I don't get it. You take space, right? You're in a place. Yeah. Physically speaking, there's a, right? You're in a, you're in a makom, right? Right. Okay, so you have your dalet amot. You have your space that you, you, you take space in, in, in creation. 
Ya. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, como Mahut. The dimension of space. Your space you take, not space as a whole. Your space. Ok. Ahat החלוקות שנעשות בהגדרת עשר הספירות מחלקת אותם לשלושה חלקים. So we break down the ten ספירות into three layers, three portions. And that's already a te technicality in the, in, the, in the language of Kabbalah. The first three are called Kahav, which is the first letter of Keter Chochma Bina, mm -hmm. which is the brain, right, the Mochim. And then you have what is called Hagat, Chesed Gevura Tiferet, with the body with the two arms. And then you have what is called Nehi or Nehim, which is Netzah Hoy Yesod Malchut, the legs, the breed, and the Makot. Haluka Ache, Shebe Sifrenu, Yase, Vezei Vashimu, Le Partufim, Odotea, Yorcham, Le Kaman. And that's one structure, which is called the, the structure of the Sefirot. So one is this way, and the other one is probably this way, right? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You're, yes, you're right. You're right. But there is, a, there is a, uh, the, the, it's a different dynamic, okay? It's just a different way of approaching. Uh, you can approach the body from, uh, you, you look at a picture, okay? And you can approach it from different, from a perspective, from a constructive way, mm -hmm. or from a, um, um, uh, from an, you look at you, uh, any uh, any machine, okay, mm -hmm. or you can look at it from an engineering perspective, okay, all the pieces and how they they are put together, mm -hmm. or you can look at, at the functionality of it and what each piece actually does. Mm -hmm. It's two different. Outlook on the same machine, correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Now, keep in mind right now that we should, that we're that we're now we're zooming in only the vertical structure and in, uh, of the interaction of Hashem with in the spherot constellations. Okay. Okay. Hanukkah no sefet yesh beteur a spherot. There's another, which is referring to what you're saying. There's another Chalukah, another Chalukah, which is called Kavim. If you take the, 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 the structure of the linear city, you find three arteries. You find the right artery, the left artery, and the central artery. Okay, I'll show you. You have yeah, that's the same one, one artery, yeah. second yeah. artery, yeah. and third artery, right? With the, with the left and the right, you can, you can survive without it, but the middle, you cannot. Yeah, leave, that, leave that to, uh, to after, okay? That, that's, that's, I don't want, no, let's, let's put, uh, okay. those are assumptions that are right, but I don't want to go there. Let's, let's first understand this, the yeah. me me mechanism, okay? So yeah. we, we said that you, you can break it like this, like this and like that, right? Yeah. So you have one, two, and three yeah. portion, and then you can divide it like you can divide it in, in another way. Look, yeah. right, left, and center. Good. Shosheta kavim hem shalosh anhagot shebaem Hashem itbarach manhig et olamo. Those three verticals are, if you will, the three pillars of how Hashem interacts with creation. One is chesed. The right one, the, ver the vertical right line is called chesed, abundance, mm -hmm. giving, right? Kindness. The left one is judgment, din. The middle one, bederech memutsaat, which is called rachamin. That's the tiferet. middle one. I'm sorry. Tiferet, you're talking about. Tiferet Correct. is Rahamim. Correct. Got it. Correct. Yeah. The 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 Daat, the Tiferet, the, the Yesod and Malchut, or Yesod at least. 
okay, are the, mid, the middle one is if you want a hybrid of polar opposites that exist in between the middle vertical. Has, 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 has you saw the middle of Netzach and Od? I don't understand. What do you mean? Like, for example, Chesed and Gevura, I get it. I understand. I, understand, I, understand. Ah. I just don't understand significantly. Chesed and Gevura, I understand if you too much Chesed or too much Gevura, the middle point is Tifer. I got that. Yeah. Uh, I give you, I answer you. I answer you. I'm Bina, I get it. The Da'at is the one that encompasses. But yes, how do you... Netzach and Od, you saw it. Netzach is two outlooks in life. One that is the proactive one, okay, the engaging one, and the left one is the, the, the engagement with more on a passive way. You're aggressive and proactive and engaging. And you, the other one where you're cautious, you're uh, the more defensive and fearful and those are the two legs when 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 somebody is very engaging okay his right his right side his right thigh is going to go first okay now the left when he's scared or when he's unclear or undecisive it's going to be the if you will the left side that comes first he's scared is that what happens in real life? In other words, when you see a person walking in with his leg, left leg means that he's scared with his right, he's more confident? Love Dafka, love Dafka. That's what it represents. Okay. And what is um, it you about? I'm sorry? How is it you start putting the both things oh, together? Yes, so it is exactly the middle, the middle ground where you have proactivity but cautiousness together. And that's what brings life. So that's basically the, what the Yesod represents. That if you want to have actions that yield productivity, brings life and creates, you need the two. You need proactivity, but with some cautiousness. You can be too bully, but you also you cannot be fully you know, paralyzed. You need the two. And that's what gives life to, some, to, to your actions or to your behavior. And that's the Yesod. Yesod, by the Brit Milah, what does it do? It brings life. Or it can, it can go to waste. It can be in vain, or it can bring life and something real. Okay? You say that? All right. And the, and the Keter and the Malchut together, uh, do they correlate to each other? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, if you say that Chochmah uh, Bina and the middle is Da'at. Chesed Gebura in the middle of Tiferet. Netzachot in the middle of Shod. I told you Malchut is the vessel that received whatever channel, uh, you know, whatever inflow of Hashem's behavior was sent and is received in what is called the Malchut. So if you will, the Malchut the is a vessel and the Keter is the, 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 the cover of it. Is that right? No, no. Keter is, if, if, uh, okay. it's like you open the faucet. Yeah. You open the faucet. The faucet is the Keter. No, if you will, okay? Okay. It's you opening the faucet is the keter. Yeah. Right? Now, everything that's coming down from the faucet all the way into the cup is all the sefirot. The cup is malchut. Ah, got you. I got you. Beautiful. I love that. Wow. Okay. Okay. So here he says, Hayamin mevateta hasadim. The right represents hasadim. Right? The abundance of good. The left, judgment, and all the deen, and all the seclusion, etc. And the middle vertical artery is what creates the balance. It's the power that balances between the, the, those two polar opposites. Tavnita Haluka Asfirot Kavechad. So the vertical, the right vertical. Uh, or the right artery is combined of Chochmah, Chesed, and Nesa. The left artery is combined of Bina, Gevura, and Hod. Yeah. Okay. And the, the Sirot, Keter, Tiferet, Yesod, Malchut, Bekav, Emsai. Right? And the middle one goes from Keter, Tiferet, Yesod, and Malchut. Asfirot, Shebekav, Yamin, Megalot, 
את החסדים. הסבירות שבקו שמאל את הגבעות, ואילו הסבירות שבקו האמצעי הן התקללות כל החסדים, של, של החסדים והדים ביחד. The sefirot always go from up to down. I don't know what you're reading. You have to slow down. Okay. I'm not reading anything. I'm just looking at the chart. I'm not reading anything. It, it, goes, it goes up and down. Relax. We're going to get there. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm not reading the chart. I'm just looking at the chart. Good, good. Very good. Yes. It's called man and mad. It's it, the, the terminology of whether well, you're right. Meaning your actions trigger some things, trigger an, like a, 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 an, an upload, okay? Mm -hmm. And like that upload triggers a download. No, because if we're all coming from the Yisod, right? Our, we came from Yisod of our parents, right? Yeah. That's, how, that's how we came from. So yeah. we, we did not come from Keter, we came from the middle. No, but again, Yisod is, yeah, yeah. What are you trying to say? No, nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, you're coming from you know how they say in, in music, you know how they say I'm riffing. Riffing means like you're playing a guitar with no, uh, no, no music. <laughs> okay. So, but you're right. You're right. You're right. When every action you make, think about, about like a lav like a computer, right? You upload yeah. on a cloud and then you download. Yeah. So every action you make, you upload, you send information to the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that cloud, Okay, tr that, that, the information that gets to the cloud triggers a download. So there's something else coming down, right? That's how the actions impact the, the, our interaction with Hashem. I got you. That's, okay? a That's right. Got it. Good? Yeah, and it's called in the Lashon of the Kabbalah, the terminology in, in the language of Kabbalah, it's called Man Maim Nukvin and Man Maim uh, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Okay. Like the, 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 uh, the female water and the male water. The male is the giver and the female is the receiver. We will get to that. Chashuv letzayen. Chashuv letzayen. Ki yesh sefira no sefet. And that's one, there's one sefira that wasn't, that he didn't address. We spoke, we, we introduced it. And he created that, right? The that. So the... Of the Chokhmah and Binah. No, it's in between... Yes, in between Chokhmah and Binah, exactly. Yeah, that's Chabad. Yes, but he didn't... He, we, we didn't bring it until now, okay? Now, Ulam hi ena mosifa al ha'eser sefirot ela she le'itim monim ota bimkom sefirat keter. It's not a sefira of its own. Yeah. It's just that sometimes it represent, it's, it's represented as, if you will, the, uh, the extension of the Keter. I gotcha. So all you, you count, all you count, or you count Keter, and then you don't count Da'at, or you don't count Keter, and then you count the Da'at. And that will depend on what you're trying to analyze and understand in the dynamic between Hashem and a person. So sometimes you, you, you have to push, you have to put the, the dot aside because it's not factually uh, impactful. And other times when you try to understand the chokhmah behind it, or you understand the, 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 the analytical aspect of the interaction, then you will Im implement the dot and put the keter on, aside. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So de depending on, the, on whether the outlook is on a behavior or the understanding of a behavior, it will define whether you, for, you implement Keter or you implement the Da'at, either or. Okay. That's what the Arizal wrote in, in Etz Chaim. Ki sefirat Keter nimnet ima sefirot rak yishanu monim ota so every sefira has its pnimiut, its essence, and has its chitzoniut, what it represents, the interaction, right? Yeah. Every, everything, you have the essence, and then what, how this essence interacts with something else, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
this is this is the differentiation point between the use of Keter versus the use of Da'at. When you talk about the penimiut, when you talk about the essence, okay, so you're looking for the essence of the structure of the sefirot, then you're gonna you're gonna talk about the keter. But if you talk about the interactions of the sefirot, mm -hmm. the flow of the the shefa, of his, yeah, then mm -hmm. you talk about the dad. Good. Yeah. That's the difference there is between, if you will, the. The, the involvement of the dot versus the keter. Lefichach, seder amidat asefirot yitu arkach, keter, and and that's why in the seder in the structure of the sefirot it goes as 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 follows: keter lemalav akava and sa'i, keter goes on the top in the middle. Leach akach kar, tachtav under it you have chokma and bina one from on the right and on the left just you know. And then in the middle, under it, you have the dad. And under it, you have Chesed and Gibura, one from the right and one from the left. And under it, you have the Tiferet, the Kavan Sa'i. And then the Nitzah. Between Chesed and, and Gibura, there's also Din in the middle, right? There's no Din. There's no Din. Hello? What are you talking about, Din? I'm asking, is it the, isn't it the same thing like that? No. No, 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 there's no Din. There's no din. Take this word out. Din is the left vertical. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then you have the Netzach on the right, the Hod on the left that are right below the Tiferet. And mm -hmm. then in the middle of that, under it, you have Umatam Yem Ben Sa'i Yesod, and Tach Vitachat Yesod in Selma. And then under it, you have Lomit. Kesher Amok Yesh Ben Sirat Yesod Le Sirat Amakut. There's a very strong intimacy and connection between the Yesod and the Malkut. Why? How? The, well, just, first of all, because it's one under the other, right? So they're, they're, the, the, only, the only connection the Malchut has to all this, the constellation of the Sefirot is the Yesod, number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, because you have the giver and the receiver, right? Oh, I love giver, that. Receiver, I thought the giver was the Keter. No, the Keter is, the, again, the Keter is opening the faucet. Okay. But the, the, the ultimate giver, who, and who delivers at the end, is the Yesod. Got it. And the Mahud receives it. The Yesod delivers. Got it. Okay. And there's only, the, what is the receiver? It's the Mahud. Yeah. Right? And the Mahud in a couple is the woman. The Yesod is the man. That's why the woman receives and the man gives. Yesod. So have the command, and that's why the Malchut and the Yesod are, are connected, and this is why the, yes, the Malchut sits under the Yesod. Now, since the Malchut apparently doesn't have, it doesn't have anything of its own, right? It's only receiving. So we could have put it anywhere. You can put it on the right, you can put it on the left. That's, it. that's what. That's why you're not allowed to. You have to be with your wife. The Yesod on top of the Malchut because it's. That's how, right. Ah, uh, wow! Unbelievable. That's right. Unbelievable. So any other way than the whole. And that's this, or Shpirat Zera Levatala. He's basically triggering uh, all the Shefa, but not having a receiver. I love, so from this specific chart is how we know that you're supposed to be with your wife, that you saw yeah. on top of the Malchut. That's right. I love it. That's right. Unbelievable. Okay, Motek. So, wow. beautiful. We just finished this page. And that's huh? I can't wait for tomorrow. Love you. This is amazing. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye, Muti. Bye. -bye. bye, Mutti, bye.